Hi, welcome. You are 10 minutes away from becoming a better developer. Today I thought I could share with you um, three little tips that I keep with myself and, and on a day-to-day -day basis I try to become aware of them and I try to look for opportunities to apply them and that really helped me to grow as a developer and to create a much more consistent and, and much more uh, solid foundation or at least theoretical foundation, let's call it like this, so that I can improve my skills sustainably, consistently over time. And I thought I could share them with you and you can of course judge it by yourself if it makes sense and I would actually like to hear your comments for example what do you do what do you think is important as a little habit to become a better developer so let me know in the comments I'm actually always open to trying something new and maybe you have some pretty cool tips but from my side the first one is actually to focus on learning and to dedicate time for learning that means you should really look for good resources, reliable resources. You should go beyond uh, blog articles and beyond those five minute guides like get your application running in five minutes or create a Docker file for application X in five minutes or do this in five minutes and so on or all you need to know about technology X. I mean, all you need to know for JavaScript or like those videos which say learn JavaScript in one hour, learn Docker in one hour, whatever. <laughs> you cannot learn a language in one hour you know like it doesn't make sense so these are really empty promises because they are gonna i'm not saying they are bad they they will there are some very good videos out there um but they will teach you a very very limited amount of information related to to a certain language or to a certain tool because really experience is the main driver here you will learn with experience you can read a lot of stuff online but experience is going to be the main teacher that being said i really think that focusing on learning is super important uh, if you want to develop a good foundation that you can use to build your skills on just to make things clear don't get me wrong i'm not saying that every video which is out there is bs and so no it's not the case there is a lot of good quality content out there but that's the main point look for good quality stuff um, and look for good quality books look for good quality courses and be a little bit willing to maybe spend a little bit of money um, as an investment right don't think um, of this as a cost but think of this as an investment it's something that you are investing in yourself and that over the long term it will really bring um, very very good rewards if you don't want to invest any money on yourself it's, it's going to be very hard to really build a solid foundation and if you don't have a solid foundation you cannot absorb more complex knowledge and you will be full of gaps this is really going to be much harder to 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 fill in the future if you actually um like if if in the alternative you actually invest right now and you have a solid without without any gaps a good foundation that you can then use to build more complex knowledge so that's the first tip focus on learning and don't really put all your hopes all your chips in um, resources which promise that they're gonna do stuff they're gonna teach you stuff in a very short amount of time doesn't happen okay it just doesn't happen the second tip is uh, quite similar to this one but it's maybe a little bit um, harder to avoid <laughs> is um, don't copy and paste that's a very simple advice but when you are copying and pasting especially from stack overflow right i mean i i do that as well sometimes okay it's fine um, but when you are copy and pasting be aware of it because you are really um, releasing your brain you are avoiding the mental effort of actually thinking about the logic of that little piece of code and if you are googling or googling i don't know if you are looking on google for that piece of code it means you probably could not do it yourself uh, so if you copy and paste <laughs> you really don't learn how to do it yourself right i mean you're just um you're not closing the gap in your knowledge so uh, don't copy and paste if you find a good piece of code just like maybe try to type it yourself at least um, and understand what is going on there and really looking online for solutions is perhaps i think mm, 
is a good quick way to try to find a solution, but um, I'm more of the opinion that you should try it yourself as much as possible. If you are under time pressure, then it's fine. Or if you really have no idea how to do it, not even where to start, then it's also fine. Um, but I would say that could make sense for you to try as much as possible to do it yourself. And if you still cannot find it, then you can go and look online. Otherwise, you're really um, not putting an active effort to close the gaps in your knowledge. And this, again, over the long term will have some negative consequences. Third tip and final one is to actually criticize your own code. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, um, as we evolve as, as developers, we tend to acquire, or we tend to get more knowledge, right? Hopefully we get more knowledge as we advance as developers. And when we get more knowledge, it's actually a very good exercise to go back to the code you wrote a couple of months ago and to revisit it and to try to identify the little gaps and the opportunities for improvement that you can solve from that moment on. So I don't mean that you need to always go back to the code and do a lot of refactoring and get old code up to new standards. Maybe you don't have time. Probably you don't have time for that. But at least to learn from your mistakes from the past, this is a very good exercise. I don't know if it happens to you. It happened to me a lot, at least when I was in high school and I had to write essays, right? So uh, I would write an essay and I would come back to it the next day and I would read it again. And I would think like, who wrote that? I mean, it's so bad. <laughs> a lot of things could be improved in this essay. And it's the same thing with code. So the code that gets old, it's actually, it reflects, let's say a snapshot, kind of a snapshot of your state as a developer at that moment in time. And it's very interesting to see that at least, well, hopefully when you look back to old code, you will see a lot of improvements. If you don't see, it means you are not evolving as a programmer. So there is something wrong with the first tip that is to focus on learning, right? If you look back at your code and it's like, ah, it's fine, then it means you are not growing. And trust me, in the development, there is always room for growth. So you definitely, um, yeah, it's also beneficial in this sense. It tells you whether you are going in the right direction. What crossed my mind when I was talking about the learning stuff um, is that actually you could call this a fourth tip is uh, consistency. So think about exercising. I don't really think that anyone gets fit by exercising once a month for 10 hours a day. Maybe we'll get some, some problems, some joint problems, muscle problems, but for sure you're not going to be fit. And the same thing. So someone gets fit by exercising maybe three, four times a week consistently for maybe 45 minutes, one hour, one hour and a half, depends, right? Personal preferences. The idea is that you need to do it consistently. And it's the same thing with learning, not only for programming, but for anything. If you want the content that you learn to stick in your head, you need to really do it consistently. You need to do it a couple of times a week. Doesn't need to be for a very long time, but you need to revisit the stuff that you learn often enough so that it actually gets, so the knowledge gets incorporated into your brain and you can actually use it in the future. Otherwise, it's kind of, you're just gonna learn a bunch of stuff, kind of an exam learning type of stuff, right? Uh, learn a lot of stuff, pass the exam, forget 99% of it. Not saying you should do that. I'm not advising you to do that. Wanna make it clear, but um, that's the idea. So if you want to benefit, if you want to profit from your learning as much as possible, you should be consistent with it and you should set aside enough time to actually dedicate for good active learning. And that's what I had for you. I mean, maybe you are disappointed. Maybe you wanted some pretty cool tools and some, some amazing resources, which would make you an expert overnight. And the message I have to you is that's not going to happen. You can look everywhere. That's not going to happen. So don't be sad with me. <laughs> it's not my fault. Okay. That's just the way humans work. And the idea is um, that for you to become better at anything, I think that learning and consistency are the two, two main principles that you have to follow. What do you think actually? I mean, does it make sense to you? Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe you could let me know in the comments. I'm actually looking forward to hearing what you have to say.
And if you want to get more tips like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And maybe you could also like the video. I mean, it would help, right? Um, but you will get a notification when the next videos are out. Thanks for your time. I hope the tips were helpful and looking for your feedback. See you in the next videos. Bye bye.